Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Didi in the morning. We get wild a bit. All right, so listen, it's Didi in the morning. I got to tell y'all something right now. We are... Uh, we're excited to have these guys on the air with us so we can yes, um, get into some some business and find out what's happening. They are the biggest group right now. They're back. They got that Culture 3 album that dropped. Y'all got to welcome the Migos. Yes, Migos. Hey, hey. What's All right. Up? Well, welcome to the show, fellas. First of all, y'all are back. Y'all rock stars for real. Like, you guys really did, like, I know you're feeling it, right? You're feeling like you're getting a lot yes. of love. Yes. Yeah. I mean, all right. So let's talk about this album. First of all, culture three there. You guys are saying that you like testing. I saw that where you were like, you like to test yourself, stretch yourself. You want to be the best and everything else. How'd y'all prepare for this album? What were, what were you doing differently with this one that you didn't do with the last ones? You know what I'm saying? Three years of grinding meditation and you know I'm saying watch and sit back and be patient. I like mm-hmm. the game went vacant, you know what I mean? We blessed for sure. Mm-hmm. Look, they can't even even when even when y'all talk, y'all spitting bars. I love it. You can't even help it. <laughs> hey, they're flowing, flowing out, baby. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. You know what? Y'all came out. I mean, this culture three is just in time. Of course, as everybody's opening up, the world's opening up. Uh, we'll talk about y'all's big big event you have going on coming up in in Vegas and all that stuff. But did you guys do any of this writing? Uh, did you do a lot of writing while you were in lockdown last year? Straight locked in. We we. Went different places, went to LA for a couple months, went to Miami, just going different places, catching different vibes, locking in as a whole, just working. Mm-hmm. Create, creating vibes, baby. We don't write though now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no seen, a, yeah, ain't right. seen a pass in high school. I ain't seen a pen in a pass. Are you That's serious? Yeah. Oh yeah, we plugging in. Bro. Y'all just okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Let me get this straight. So once y'all go into the studio, it is what it like. That's it, or you all keep it in your head? Like what? <laughs> Yes, yeah, tonight. Yeah, just drop the vibe of the beat. You play that beat, it gonna come right to me. You play the beat, it's coming off. Uh. Well, damn. Man, let me, let me. That that's crazy. that's talented damn. now. Damn. All right now. Come, you you invited to one of these sessions to see this magic. Oh, good. Really? Oh, I want to oh, come my. to one of your sessions. Wait a minute. And what do you have at your session? Make sure I can. I'll feel comfortable. You have something to drink? What else? What y'all got going on at your session? You know I'm saying we got good people. To just make sure you comfortable, baby. Yeah. We we roll out the red carpet. You just let us know what you need. Whatever okay, I'm coming. I, I would I would enjoy that. I'm serious. Go ahead, Jade. So so let me ask you this. Seriously, I've always wanted to ask artists, especially if you're not using a, a pen and pad, how do y'all remember the lyrics? Like after you record, do you have to play it back and just sit there and listen and listen and listen? Like, I, think I, I don't even remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> I think how we record, your, like how the bars coming off your head, something about it, it's, just, it's a memory thing too. It's like, you know, some people can write something and then memorize it. Yeah, and then also when you're recording it. Yeah, all I gotta hear it is one yeah. all I gotta hear it is one time and I remember. Yeah, and then when you're recording it though, you 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 clear it up sometimes, you clear up the vocals and you you say it more than once. So you, it's like repetition. Because oh. what's what's crazy when y'all were performing at the uh at the Floyd Mayweather fight, mm-hmm. offset knew everybody's like every every time everybody was going, he was lipping the words, and I'm like, Y'all know each other's verses. Got to know my brothers. I know it, man. I Amen. love that. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. You gotta know you got to see when you performing. You be professional, so you got to you got to be there for somebody. Gap. A okay. Sometimes, cause you know we. Da, 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 you got to catch somebody breath a bar. You got to know his bar. So I think I, did I? You know, you just said something. It made me think about you know you guys' the sound, right? You came out with the sound. A lot of folks are are copying doing your same thing. Did I read or hear something that you guys don't mind that you want people to copy you? Is that, is that for real? Did I read that or hear that right? Yeah, I mean, we do it to it, it's like, we do it to inspire, but we flattered, you know what I'm saying? A couple of years ago, you know what I'm saying? We was coming into the game, like when we first started and um, we just knew like, if I feel like if, if they want to copy our flow coming in, we wouldn't be where we at today. You know what I'm saying? One of the greatest groups in the world and, and master the flow. If we, we couldn't, we couldn't say, oh, no, nah, that's my flow. Because then that's not like, that's not that's not creating influence. And that's not being the most influential artist of, you know what I'm saying, one of these decades. You know? mm-hmm. so I feel like that's the only way we could be the greatest group in the world. Because, you know what I'm saying, you got to go where it started and we started. Mm-hmm. So, so Culture 3, everybody is out right now. How did you guys figure out who you wanted to be on this. You got everybody on there. You guys got a lot of folks on there. How did you know who you wanted for a certain song? Do you hear it? 
Do you hear it in your head, this person doing it? Did you guys just reach out? They reach out to you. How does that all go down? Because you do have like, like, I mean. Vibes. Just be off of vibes. Really? Yeah, Mike, vibes. You lock in and yeah, Uncle Humbug and yeah, make and a smash thing. record with him. And it is. Okay. And it come to mind, it's we put it on there. Yeah. <laughs> So, so okay. let me ask you about this birthday song, okay? First of all, the album is, once again, unfair. Because sometimes when you listen to albums, I'm not going to lie, you want some of the songs not to jam so you can get out the car. And so when I first put it, I'm like, God, dog, I can't even get out the car on this mug. So let me ask you about the, the birthday song. There's a lyric, the, the chorus says, you get a purse, bay if you bad enough. You get mm. a car today. So I want to know. What qualifies a woman to be bad enough to get a purse and a bag? Like, what is that? What are those qualifications? What is what is a bad chick? Have my back. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really a beauty specific thing. You know what I'm saying? You have my back or you being uh, I beat, I'm gonna beat up for you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gotta be no material thing, but I'm gonna come up with the material because I'm loaded. Mm. You know what I'm mm. I know that's you right. Get, you get great, yeah, it great, is. Great, great rewards, you know what I mean, for staying down. Keeping it real and keeping it solid. Like okay. Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. Oh, wow.